Hi there. Hola, hola. Okay, so today I went to the Dollar Tree to buy one thing and came home with a huge bag full of stuff. I know we all go into dollar stores and, and you know, we get stuff all the time. It's very convenient. But I went in there for, for cards, actually, and ended up finding so many cool things to use in my Christmas junk journals. So I wanted to kind of share with you my ideas for what I found, kind of show you what I got, and then I'll come back in future videos and show you what I've actually made with these things. So starting out, I wanted some cards. I'm doing, I decided to do a 2020 journal and I'm gonna go back and um, do some different holiday things, but I'm gonna do this one for the Thanksgiving page. Um, and then I'm gonna fussy cut these words out because I think this is really, um, uh, a sweet sentiment and I love the, the font but I'm going to fussy cut all these leaves and these birds out and put them on a page um, I love fussy cutting stuff I don't know it's the scrapbook I think and then I love the sentiment so so Tom Sims Tom Sims sometimes <laughs> I just cut you know some of the typography off and then put it together and um, and uh make a cute little thing for a little snippet or a little element on the page. So all these are different ones that I'm going to fussy cut out and put in, um, in some books. Just love that. That's going to be on the opposite page of my Thanksgiving one. And I bought these. Um, I just thought those were so sweet. They got a little bit, I don't know if you can see it in the light or not, but there's a little bit of glitter. I love anything glittery and sparkly, but this is really sweet little nativity um, and super cute little, this little house and the little penguins. That's so adorable. I'll probably cut this more like a and put it on a tag or something. But this, look at this. Okay, we have these all the time. And I, I don't usually... Oh, I have no patience for these, to open these things, these days. So I look at the cards. Now, the cards there are a dollar, sometimes two for a dollar. These ones were the dollar cards. These are the more expensive ones. But look at this. Okay, first of all, that is cute. Just cut it out, the sparkly paper, put it on, back it with some red cardstock, and it's a cute little embellishment on a page. But this... Oh my god, look at this. It is its own little die cut. Check that out. Look at that. So cute. This is going to be so cute in a, on a little page. And then I have this paper that I can use and cut something out. I don't know why it's got that stupid thing there. But um, I can utilize this too. I can cut that little you know, for the holidays part out. I can use the Merry Christmas in here. I can use the little phrase, wherever you go, whatever you may do, may the joy of the holidays find its way to you. Isn't that cute? And then it's got a cute little, look, a mini one. So I can cut that one out too and back it with some red foil paper. Adorable. Okay, so then I saw this one and I thought the same thing. This would make such a cute page. Look at that. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make a cute page on a um, in a book. And look at this one. Pull the pop those letters off because they're stuck on there with foam core. Pop the letters off and use them in a in a journal. These. How cute are these? Layer this with some. Um, you know, put a doily in the middle and a button or something. And you got this little dimensional element that you can hang on the the front of a journal. I love that. Christmas cards. Look at that. One dollar for this box of Christmas cards. You got all those envelopes to make little different kinds of flips and flaps with. And then look at fussy cut this Santa out. He would be super easy to fussy cut. It's not too hard. And then cut the little packages out and put them on a page. These little bags. Okay. I love these bags. I buy them all the time because <laughs> fussy cut that little deer out. How cute. And the Santa. Sorry, I'm not, not in frame. But anyway, Fussy cut the little deer out. Fussy cut the Santa. Look at the snowman. How cute. And then these treat bags. Look at this. Look how many there are. Okay, you've got 
10 tree bags and there's two, the bags are two sided. So the image is on two sides. So I've got 20 of these little cars that you fussy cut. You just fussy cut the car and the presents out. You can do this, the little banner separately. You can include that you can do this and fussy cut this way, all of this out with the snowman and the tree and stick it down on a page. Adorable. Same with this one. You can just do the penguin. You can do the penguin and the tree. You can do the snowman separately. You do the little packages. How cute is that? It's got the little plaid. So you can cut, you can cut this and use that as a whole border on a page because there's it goes around both sides of the bag. So if you snip that whole piece off, you know, split it at the seam and fussy cut that open, you got enough to spread over, you know, especially like this is traveler's notebook size, right? Super cute. This Santa, fussy cut him out. Love it. And then they have, they have some cool stickers at the dollar store, I'm telling you. These are, again, dimensional. I'm doing a travel journal. I have a beach journal going. Um, and I love the, the gold and the bling bling on it. It's so cute. Another one, family. And then, okay, these. Now, I know people are like, a potholder. No, if I pick this apart and I fussy cut these flowers out and put them on a page, it was like one in the corner of the page and then the, the bigger one up in the other corner of the page like that to balance the, the two page spread out. It's gonna be beautiful, you know? A dollar, 50 cents a piece, you know, for this beautiful fabric. That's going to be gorgeous on a page. This calendar, I just, uh, I had to take it out. It came in a bag, and I had to take the bag, open the bag, and look to make sure that I really wanted it. But look at this paper. Oh, my God. That, can you see the gold shimmer on it? I don't even care about the calendar. I mean, I may cut it out and use it as a... In a, in a calendar journal, but I just bought it solely for the paper. I mean, it's a nice thick texture. All of it has, you know, gold and bling bling on it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at this. Every piece is like prettier than the other. This is going to make such beautiful journal covers, all of these. So I go in there with the, <laughs> everything I look at is like, can I use that in a journal? Can I use that in a journal? <laughs> can I make a book with that? Can I, can I use it for scrapbooking? Um, a nice heavyweight chipboard back, which I can use as a book board. It's really, I don't know if you can see the, the thickness of it. It's pretty thick. I'd say, yeah, it's at least an, uh, an eighth of an inch thick. And a little bit more than an eighth. Um, anyway that gorgeous love it then i can't believe i've been looking everywhere for um a die cut machine but i just don't want to spend 100 bucks for one so check it out they had this one 39.99 i've never heard of this brand before but look it's got all the pressure plates and everything cool little crank that you have to um you know, put on with an Allen wrench. I don't care. It's nice, heavy weight, so it'll stay, you know, substantial on your on your countertop. I'd love it for thirty nine ninety nine. I was stoked. I found these placemats. Check it out. Fifty paper placemats with all that Paris stuff on it. How cute is this going to be? Torn up and used. You know, I can cut the little postage marks out. Cut the mini Eiffel towers out. I mean, you can use this for so many things and seven bucks for 50 of these so that was a great deal this was a make your own calendar i got this because first of all i can crop each one of these little pictures out and use them but look at these look at these images and then some christmasy paper valentine's it you know it's all themed out but i just love how it's got so many cute look at those shirley temple how sweet these are so cute look 
So it was worth it for me just to get all these images. Um, and the paper, you know, obviously I'll use the paper in journals and stuff. Um, even if I just use it, back it with coffee dyed paper and, um, and make tags out of it. I love that. That's a really pretty Fourth of July paper. But plus my little grandson, I'm doing a, a scrapbook for him. So I love that I have something for every month. Um, and I'm going to uh, scrapbook his first year. So... And I love how um, each one has a little calendar in the corner. You know, you've got all these images that go, you know, that are themed out. But then every page like this, they all have a li the little calendar in the corner too, which I love. Uh, so I could just take all those little calendars, crop them out, and make a, a mini little calendar book also. And then, so that's it for the themed papers. And then these are the, the calendars. So if I wanted to make a calendar, I could. I've got all those calendar pages. However, I'll probably just use it as white card stuff. Beautiful journal with a pen. That's a beautiful gift, but I just love this paper. This is my color. And I'm probably going to use this for a journal for myself. Some note cards with little bees on them. How sweet is that? And this is my, I love the aqua color. Hummingbirds. My husband's been sending me little messages with hummingbirds since he died. So I love anything hummingbird. I hummingbirds and butterflies. These were on clearance. These were in the Halloween section. <laughs> they're actual toe tags. Fake, not actual toe tags. They're fake toe tags, um, which would be cute in a Halloween journal. But I thought, I just like the shape of the tags. It would be cool to, you know, just ink or cover up with um, a piece of cardstock and utilize. You know, they, they ended up being like, I don't know, 39 cents on sale. A little thing of bags, little white treat bags. Orange sticker, 40% off. Yellow sticker, 60% off. Some cute little flowers, doilies. I never have too many doilies. Two different types of flower kits. And this is my favorite color, so I'll probably use it on a, I don't even use it on that. I think that would make a pretty, you know, to put some flowers in the journal. I'm not sure. Anyway. Cute little believe, um, thing which I'm going to put on a journal, a Christmas journal. And these are, I love these, these are those, you know, those little um, letter boards. So you can put different words, so it has all those words. Plus I can take this piece of paper and I can cut those words out and use those words again as a, um, a little teeny tiny thing on a snippet. So you just have to clip these little, see those little doohickeys? You can just snip those off with your button shank cutter. And then glue, you know, glue these, put some Mod Podge on them and glitter them up. Oh my God, they would be so beautiful on journals. I love it. So that was a bargain. I was very happy with that. These cool little ephemera tags. And they have all different designs. beautiful Christmas cards. How pretty would those look in a journal? Oh, fall or winter. I mean, it's just so pretty. You could cut the little bird out, make a tag, cover this up with a little snippet of lace or something if you don't want the, the sentiment there. They had a bunch of this the last time I went there, this Tim Holtz washi tape. Um, so I bought this one and then I had this one, which oh, the same one, but I don't care because uh, I will use these, actually. I'm not a washi tape gal, but these ones I will actually use. Got this cute little tray. Look at that. This is my colors in my house. So aqua, and I love passion, passion fruit. This is a passion flower. And I am trying to love my life. I'm trying to get back into loving my life. It's a, it's a challenge, but you know, everybody needs a little tray on their bedside table for you know jewelry, earrings, whatever. I love that. This is a shower curtain. So it was 40% off of $14.99. Orange tag. Look at this fabric. I don't know if you look at this. 
it's like a blue satin and it's got this nubby silver thread texture and it. it reminds me of like a Cinderella dress. I mean, you could cut this, I could cut this apart and make a beautiful costume or Cinderella dress, but I just thought it's got a bunch of little um, snags in it. That's probably why it was on clearance. But this would make such beautiful journals. And I'm going to do like a ice blue winter themed journals. And I think this would be beautiful. And look at even the back side is cool. I collect a lot of fabric, especially if it's this color, you know, light blue with metallic. Um, that I make different things. Uh, stockings and, you know, Christmas decor for my house. I'm not doing that this year. My daughter's doing rainbow everything for the baby. But I'll get back to my blue Christmas next year. But I was super stoked about this piece. Look at those. You guys seen these? I saw them in Florida. The Dollar Tree here in Napa is a crummy dollar store. They don't have hardly anything. It's so tiny. They don't have a back room, so it puts, you put it all in the front of the store. There's like a little enclosed glass area where the shopping carts and stuff go, and that's where they put all their back stuff. So it's, it's janky. But uh, the one that I went to that's next door to Tuesday morning had these. They're glass. Now you could make cute little ornaments. You can put a little miniature Christmas tree in there or a fussy cut, a flower or something, glue it in there with a little bit of um, uh, glitter and make it like a little shaker ornament and put a little top on it, hang it. I mean, look at those. I bought a bunch of them because some of them are going to make some ornaments and some of them I'm going to utilize to put um, rhinestones and beads and all kinds. I have a lot of stuff. And it's in containers that I can't really see what they are. So the stuff that I know that I'll use often... I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to hang a spice rack there on my wall and then put all these little bottles on the spice rack so that they're right there visually in front of my eyes so I can take them out and use them. And look at this. This comes off. So you have a beautiful die cut to use. Put some lace behind that. There's a focal and a journal. And then you still have the beautiful card. It's got little rhinestones on it. See that? So you could use this um, as a in your in your book. Put some um, what's the word? Coffee dyed paper here. Look at that. Or you could have it, um, you know, as a as a something in your journal. I like it this way because you want to see the image. But um, it's just so beautiful. So I don't want to stick this back down. I'll stick it on some plastic. But I love that. So if you wanted, you could double your money by fussy cutting this one out too. And then you have, you know, two die cuts. And utilize this stuff by, um, by you know, cut out the word. That could be one thing. Cut um, a strip like this and make a beautiful tag with it. There's so much you could do with these. So about that box and then about these. Because... Of course, they're my color. But look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? So I took my hole punch and I punched out all these little things small. So I have them in a little container um, from a couple of these cards. And then I fussy cut these out. And I'll use them as elements and then cut the Merry Christmas out. You know, and um, the sentiment too. You can cut that out and put that in a journal. I mean, there's a lot you could do. I cut just the deer out and... Um, hit it with a rubber stamp that had a postage mark on it and made like a little faux stamp with it. it came out super cute. So um, always check out the Christmas cards, especially if you're doing Christmas journals, because these are sometimes the perfect size to go in a Christmas journal. Look at these napkins. Oh my God. Are they adorable? Vintage Santas. I use them on uh, journals. I'm going to uh, show you guys those journals later when I finish them. Um, but I wanted some vintage looking Santas and for you know what five bucks but each napkin this is the beauty part I'm in a couple of face I'm in a Facebook napkin swapping group where people you know will send you napkins and you send them look six Santas per napkin so what is that and there's how many napkins here oh my god there's math involved <laughs> 40 napkins times six this is with 240 napkins, if I'm doing the, nap, the math right. 240 Santas. That's a lot of Santas. So anybody needs a Santa, leave me um, a message in my, uh, leave me a message in the comments and I will send you 
some Santa. And then I got these two. Um, this is a more all over pattern, which you could, I could use it for background paper. But also, I've seen other people use them. Uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations and um, I think Andrea from Artie Mays has also used um, napkins like this to make faux postage stamps. Look at that. Now, I don't like how they did this, but I think it's kind of funky. <laughs> I might actually use it as like a little something silly, you know. But look at those. How cute they are. And then I found these, which... I like the kind of, you know, just botanical. Like, it looks like they look like this looks like a cabbage and a peony and a, some kind of a chrysanthemum. But um, I just thought they were pretty. I was very happy with what I found. So um, I will be posting because I'm making a bunch of Christmas journals. I will be posting um, updates and pictures of what I make with all these things. So stay tuned, check back, and um, see what kind of magic I create with all these cool dollar store items. All right, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, bye.